Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, August 4th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across, Junior Mint. And this is wordplay, so this is not about candy. Hmm, I wonder if it's about minting coins somehow. Could it be a small coin? It's not a penny. Half penny, that would fit. Cry that accompanies relief or a reek. Um, hmm. It's not P-U. That doesn't accompany relief. Huh. What is that? Bugs Bunny, Looney Tunes character? Okay. Some theaters. I wonder if this is Odia. The plural of odium? Is that right? No win situation. Hmm. What's another word for that? I don't know. High point of a trip to California. More wordplay. So it's not just a highlight. I think it's going to be something that's very high up in elevation. It's not Mount Shasta. I don't know about this G. Is there another bunny? Ooh, wait a minute. I wonder if it's Lola Bunny. That would be very tricky. No win situation. Hmm. I kind of like these letters better. 1990 film that Roger Ebert called so implausible that it makes it hard for us to really care about the plight of the kid. Interesting. 1990. I'm trying to think of what movie that could be. Hmm, I'm not sure. Some theaters. I suppose it can't hurt, an equivalent phrase. Give it a shot, that doesn't fit. Hmm, feature of open world video games. Is that just a map? A map of the world? Hit Broadway musical with an exclamation point in its name. Hmm, it's not Mamma Mia? That definitely doesn't fit. Formal denial. It's not negative. It's not no sir. Charm to King Charles. Charm. Is this like the personality trait of being charming? Interesting. Itch. I guess that could be a yen, a desire. Does that help at all here? Maybe this ends in money. Yeah. What is it going to start with, though? Maybe it's play money. It's money for junior, for a child. That is really tricky. Okay, maybe this is few? I guess you could say few if something smells bad. No win situation. I guess that's a wash. It's a tie. Nobody won. Some theaters. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what they're going for here. This looks like it wants to start with... Yeah. Huh. What movie could this be? High point of a trip to California. Hmm. Boy, this is a tricky corner so far. Gusto. Maybe that could be Vim. That's energy. Hmm. Maybe this is not I. That is pretty formal. Charm. Hmm. Oh, you know what this is? This is El Capitan. That is in Yosemite. Yeah. Okay, man. I've actually been there before. I really should have seen that. Okay, so maybe this is AMC's. They're asking for a brand name. Oh, and this is Home Alone. Oh my god, Roger Ebert is ragging on Home Alone. That did not age well. Okay, uh, this has got to be Oliver. Org for Triple H and the Ultimate Warrior. Those are both wrestlers, so this is probably the WWE. Um, hmm. Yeah, I still have no idea here. In shorthand, it's written with two S's and two T's. 
I have very little knowledge of shorthands. Hmm, we're gonna need some help here. Charm. Maybe this is enamor in the British spelling. O-U-R, man, that's tricky. Hazmat monitor, that could be OSHA, the workplace safety org. Tap. Hmm. I wonder if this is a tap that beer comes out of. It's not a spout. That doesn't fit. Queen of what? Is it the Queen of Sheba? It could be. She fits. Handled. It's not saw to. Sorry, babe. Another equivalent phrase. Hmm. Is it no deer? It has to have a pet name in it, right? Yeah. Vets counterparts. Is this talking about veterans or veterinarians? Counterparts. Hmm. Kind of acid found in good fats. Uh, are they looking for Olean here? What are they looking for? Hmm. Same, an equivalent phrase. A very short one would be ditto. Okay. Handled. Okay, maybe this is seen too. Man, that's tricky. This is an adjective, not a past tense verb. Peace Nobelist Visol, that is Ellie. Okay. Maybe it is Olean. Hmm. Ineffectual sorts. Oof, man. What is that gonna be? Format for peer to peer file sharing. Format. Wouldn't that be BitTorrent? Wow. That's a blast from the past, and I don't think I've ever seen it in a crossword puzzle before. What a cool entry. I love it. Okay, exclusive. Hmm. Is this talking about being exclusive in a romantic sense? Vets. Oh, it's noobs. Uh, is it spelled like this? It has to be informal, right? Because of the informal vets. Wow. Okay. Um... I don't think I had this quite right. What is this? Maybe this is wet noodles? Those are ineffectual sorts, right? That's another funny entry. Uh... Oh man, maybe it's oleic as an adjective. I think maybe that's right. Exclusive, that could be a scoop. Yeah, like a news scoop. And this is oop. Flashy hoops highlight for short. I guess they're talking about an alley oop, yeah. Okay, well, we finally got the top of the grid here. Big sister, and this is more wordplay. Hmm. So it's not about a sibling, right? Big sister. Are they talking about a nun? Ooh, you know what? I think they could be. This is looking like it might be Mother Superior. That's a title that a nun might have, right? What a great clue. That's so clever. Okay, this is Mos Eisley, Star Wars Spaceport. A little taller than normal, say, as a kitty. A kitty. So this has got to be kind of informal language, right? On the tall side? It can't have tall in it. Hmm. On the big side would make sense, but that's still too long. Hmm. Certain native identity. Huh. I'm not sure what they're asking for here. Yeah, why not? I suppose it can't hurt, yeah. In shorthand, I mean, this could be anything. Hmm. It seems like we're gonna have to get a lot of crossing help here. Man, little rascal. I really want this to be stinker. Does that fit? It does, nice. So, uh... In shorthand, is this just writing out the days of the week? 
Yeah, because that would have Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, right? That is so tricky. So they're not talking about the language of shorthand. Man, what a very tricky clue. Um, I wonder if this starts with tribe or tribal. Let's see if this is a B here. Nigerian people in things fall apart. Oof, I know I've seen this before. This is definitely a B. I can't remember what the first letter is though. I wanna say it's an I maybe. Hmm, yeah. On tippy toe, ooh. Is that right? On tippy toe, that would fit. Let's see if that's what it is. Let's see if this is an A or E for tribe or tribal. Things that can really make someone pop. More wordplay. I guess it's not about making someone angry. Hmm, make someone pop. What are they talking about? What's another meaning for the word pop? Are they talking about a father? Making someone a father. I wonder if this is paternity tests. Those would make someone a pop, right? And it fits. Oh my God, that's so clever. Okay, so that means this is tribal. Nice. Rank for TV's Klinger and Radar abbreviated. Um, I guess that's Corporal. Hmm. Radar, is that MASH? And is Klinger from MASH also? Or is that a different show? Is it like Hogan's Heroes? I don't really recognize these characters. The Hatfields and McCoys EG. Well, those were two feuding clans. Okay. Barry Blank, 1975 Kubrick drama. Is that Linden? I think it is. I haven't seen that one. Asteroid system. This is kind of tricky. It's not asking about an asteroid system in real life in space. Asteroids is an old arcade game. It was made by Atari. Okay, so maybe this is tribal name. That would make sense. Small amount of whiskey. That could be a dram, yeah. Non-English uncle. Hmm. Maybe this is uncle as in saying that you give up. This could be no mas, right? In Spanish, no more. That's pretty tricky. They're not asking about your tío. Teacher's directive. See me. Yeah, you don't want to see that. Children's writer Greenfield. I don't recognize this name, but it looks like it has to be Eloise, right? Enters in a way. Hmm. It starts with an L? The smartest guys in the room subject. That was a documentary about Enron. Okay. Huh. I wonder if this is about entering something in a computer or maybe a log book. Yeah, this could be logs. That was pretty ambiguous. Space scrap, more wordplay. So I guess it's not about junk floating in space. Space scrap. Hmm. I'm not sure where the pun is here. Heavily caffeinated say. I guess you could be high strung. Is that right? Shy town fixture since 1847 with the, is that the Chicago Tribune? Wasn't that who Roger Ebert worked for? Yeah, I wonder if they got some letters about his Home Alone review. Tap. Hmm, that could be a spigot, right? It is about a tap you can get a drink from. Sight for many of Jesus's miracles. Uh, that's gotta be Galilee, right? Suffix with govern. Maybe that's governess, yeah. US Prez commemorated with a stone tablet in London's Westminster Abbey. I didn't know this, but it's gotta be FDR. Advice lead in. If I were you. I know I've heard that before. 
eponym for U.S. Track and Field's highest award. I imagine they must have named it after Jesse Owens. Major fantasy franchise in brief. Looks like that's the Lord of the Rings. Space Scrap. Hmm, what could this be? Strung, is that right? Princess in Disney's Enchanted. Ooh, um, I don't know if I've seen this. Slip, that's gonna be air. Pines, maybe that's yearns. Yeah, we've got a lot of longing going on here. We have a yen and yearning. Info in a visitor's text, maybe. That's gotta be an ETA when they're gonna get there, right? Milk source. Are they asking for a teat here? I wonder. John Harvard of Harvard University and others. Hmm. Um. John Harvard. I think he was a big donor, wasn't he? He didn't actually found Harvard, did he? Interesting. Is that what they're talking about? Cover. I mean, this could be cap. It could be a lot of things, probably. Feature of an empty room, perhaps. I bet that's an echo. Ugh, this is unbelievable. Another equivalent phrase. Hmm, what could this be? It's not crap or something, is it? I don't think so. What's rounded up in a roundup? Hmm, uh, is it a herd? I guess that could be. Column on the far right, maybe. Hmm, is it like a pros and cons list? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Man, we still don't know what this is. Graphic novelist who created Watchmen and V for Vendetta. Uh, wasn't that Frank Miller? Am I thinking of someone else? I want to say it's a Frank. Let's see if that's right. Cover. Hmm. Classic 1966 album with the tracks Wouldn't It Be Nice and Sloop John B. That is the Beach Boys, so this has got to be pet sounds. Hmm. Maybe this is Cap and it's not Frank. Who is this? Huh. Interesting. I don't think I'm going to know this. A malaria resistant mosquito is one for short. Maybe that's going to be a genetically modified organism. Oh, it's Alan Moore. Yeah, I was thinking of the wrong artist. Okay, so maybe this is come on. This is unbelievable. Yeah. And then what is this column on the far right? Hmm. This looks like it's going to be a clergyman. Yeah, that's definitely believable. And then this is the ones column. Yeah, that would be on the far right, wouldn't it? Okay, so is this Giselle? I don't think I've ever heard of that. This has got to be a no-go, right? That's when they scrap a rocket launch, a space scrap. Very, very tricky. So this is strong. Okay, you're not talking about someone strung out on coffee. <laughs> it's talking about the coffee itself. It's strong. Okay, there we go, finally. Let's go ahead and throw this G in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Friday puzzle in 25 minutes. Boy, the long answers on this puzzle were on point today. These were so good. And a bunch of them had really good wordplay clues too. Junior Mint for play money, that's fantastic. I also loved Big Sister for Mother Superior. What a phenomenal wordplay clue. And this one too, things that can really make someone pop. Paternity tests, <laughs> that's so funny. We also had some nice fill, wet noodles. BitTorrent, man, that is great. I really don't think I've seen that before. On tippy-toe is a nice little bit of kid speak. 
And we had some nice phrases too. Yeah, why not? And if I were you... Alright, well, I hope I managed to enamor you with that Friday solve. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week, the Saturday. And I think that's gonna do it for now. Alright, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.